Alright, we're going to take a look at this first strike ration, or FSR. I am going to open this one up, check out what's inside of it, but first I want to do a little bit of background information for anybody who might be curious about first strike rations or are not too familiar with them. If you just want to see what's inside, feel free to skip ahead and check out the opening. First thing that I wanted to mention and clear up a little bit is that the first strike ration is indeed a genuine U.S. government military ration. The clear packaging and the kind of commercial looking logo may make it look like it's a civilian MRE, but it is a genuine article. It does look a lot like the commercial ones that are available with the clear packaging and a lot of the same elements. And it also resembles the Tailored Operational Training Meal, or TOTM, which, to add to the confusion, while this is a civilian one, this is a genuine military ration, and it has the U.S. government property warning on it. As well as one last thing to add to the confusion is that the first strike ration, although it is a genuine military ration, it does not have that warning on it anywhere. I'm going to give a little information about the first strike ration, but if you really want to learn more, as usual with MREs, I would suggest going to the website mreinfo.com. They have a lot more information than I can give, and in fact, I get a lot of my information from that site. In fact, just to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to quote mreinfo.com and what they say about the first strike ration. The first strike ration, or FSR, is a compact eat on the move assault ration designed for use during initial periods of highly intense, highly mobile combat operations. The FSR is substantially reduced in weight and size and enhances soldier consumption, nutritional intake, and mobility. So, comparing a first strike ration to an MRE, you can see the, the FSR is somewhat larger and it is um, quite a bit heavier. But the point is that an FSR isn't meant to replace one MRE. It's designed to replace three MREs. An MRE is a meal ready to eat. And in 24 hours, a soldier would be expected to eat three of these. They'd be issued three for a 24-hour period. Whereas the first strike ration is designed to be a 24-hour ration. One of the reasons for making the first strike rations was because a lot of soldiers, when they were going out on missions, something where they're going to be deployed for a while, when they'd get issued the MREs, they'd go through them and they'd field strip them. They'd open them up and they'd take out anything they didn't want, anything they didn't need, any excess packaging, to travel lighter. So although it makes it lighter, it also reduces a lot of the nutritional value that they're designed to provide. Going by average numbers, three standard MREs provide about 3,800 calories. One for a strike ration, on the other hand, provides 2,900 calories. It's not exactly the same, but 2,900 calories is a good amount for, for a single day for an active soldier. Now we're going to do a little weight comparison between the first strike ration and the standard MRE. First strike ration is 2 pounds 7.8 ounces. And a random MRE. Is one pound eleven point four ounces. So you can say, alright, well the first strike ration is heavier than an MRE, but you can see it's quite a bit lighter than three MREs if you had to carry a whole day's worth of food. And while an MRE is designed to be ready to eat. The first strike ration takes that a step further by having everything pretty much ready to eat on the go, on the run. I will say that this one does have uh, tuna. So you have tuna, mayonnaise, and tortillas, which if you want to make a tuna fish sandwich out of them, you will have to do a little bit of mixing. But for the most part, everything is designed that you just rip open the package and eat it including the applesauce, which is in, uh, we'll see that when we get it out of here, but it's in a package that you tear off the top and you can just eat it right out of the package. 
The only thing that's not totally ready to consume, of course, would be the drink mixes. But if you have water on hand, these should all be the ones that you can just tear them open, add the water to them, close them up, and shake them up and drink them right out of the package. So, hopefully you get a similar amount of nutrition, it's a lot easier to just take this on the go. You can put some of these smaller packages into your pockets on your BDUs. You can eat however many number of things you need at one time, save the rest for, for later, over a 24 hour period. It's a pretty cool thing. And now let's take a look at just what is inside of this first strike ration. This one is menu number three. There are a number of different menus. We're all gonna have similar kind of stuff in them. One of the big differences between this and a regular MRE is the sandwiches. Instead of having an eight ounce pouch of uh, main entree, they have these little sandwiches that you can just eat on the go. Like the regular MREs, this does have a date code. And the code is 1087, which means this was packaged on the 87th day of 2011. For a strike ration, it does not have a peelable seal like the MREs do. It does have a little notch here so you can rip it. But I think for the video, I want to go ahead and slice this open. Also, unlike a regular MRE, these do actually tell you exactly what's inside of each first strike ration. And now we'll take a look, see what's in here. It's a lot of stuff. We have a chocolate banana nut dessert bar. This is a little smaller than a lot of the uh, desserts that you'd find in a MRE. Oh, there's a Mocha Flava First Strike Energy Bar. Also a little bit smaller than the regular First Strike bars you find in MREs. A Crayon Raspberry First Strike Bar. And some tortillas. So you can make a sandwich with the tortillas, the tuna, and this big accessory pack here that has the mayonnaise in it. We have some crackers, a nut fruit mix, this is one of the sandwiches, this is the honey barbecue beef sandwich. I've never had one of these, I'm kind of looking forward to it, checking it out. This is a lemon poppy seed pound cake. A couple of drinks here. We got a tropical punch and an orange beverage base powder. These are in these resealable packages that you tear them open, pour the water in, zip it back up, and shake it, and drink it right out of the pouch. Makes it a little bit easier for on the go. Here's the beef sticks, basically a beef jerky. There's barbecue and teriyaki in here. I mentioned the Zapple sauce, interesting name, interesting label. And this is basically applesauce that's enhanced with maltodextrin. Everything in this is designed, this, this is definitely not a light meal. Everything in here is designed to give you energy, to give you, to replace nutrients that you would lose in stressful situations out in the desert or out in the field. There is a spoon in here. I suppose you could use that for the tuna fish if you're mixing that with the mayonnaise. But for the most part, spoon isn't really as necessary as it is in an MRE. You're not going to have a main entree that you're going to heat up and open up and eat with a spoon. This accessory pack is quite a bit bigger than the ones in the MRE. Of course it's designed for the 24 hour period. It even has the first strike ration on here, FSR. Fat-free mayonnaise for the tuna. 
regular cheese spread. It's funny, I've never seen these inside of an accessory pack before. They're usually just right inside the MRE. They do have the standard MRE chewing gum, but in addition they also have Stay Alert Caffeine Supplement chewing gum. And there we are, instant coffee, non-dairy creamer, and sugar. Pretty standard. Let's have a pack of salt. Three moist towelettes, since this is designed to last 24 hours. Basically three meals worth. MRE matches. And just one package of the standard MRE toilet paper. The last thing is something I haven't seen in MRE. This is a it's basically just a bag. And I'm guessing that the point of this one is to be a reclosable bag. And I believe the reason for this would be once you open this up, you can separate your meals and put the leftovers in here for the next meal. You can also put all your trash in here and get rid of it or hide it or dispose of it when you're all done. So as you can see, you're definitely getting a lot of food with the first strike ration. You have your barbecue beef sandwich, your basically tuna fish sandwich if you want to put all this together. Two different regular drinks, of course you have the coffee too. Your beef sticks, the cheese and crackers, pound cake, dessert bar, zapple sauce, fruit nut mix, two first strike energy bars, your stay alert gum and the rest of the stuff in the accessory pack. As you can see you can have a little bit here, a little bit there, save the rest for another time. A lot of small packaging, easy to put in your pocket. And I'll make a couple more videos where we'll actually do a taste test on some of this stuff. Thanks for watching.